Okay, I was asked about the equipment list for what I'm calling my Mevo Mini TV Studio. And I'm going to go through this list real quick, and I'm going to put a link in the description of this YouTube video to this document, so you'll have all the links. It's about, I'm going to explain what the gear is and why I get it. The Mevo camera, of course, and then the boost accessory for the Mevo camera. That allows you to hook in the uh, Ethernet cable, which we'll talk about. A lavalier mic. This is about 30 bucks and comes with, I think, about an 8-foot cord on it and then an extension cord. This is going to be the cheapest way to get good lavalier audio into your iPhone and therefore into your broadcast. And there's the 10-foot extension cable for that. Microphone stands. You need at least two. You need one for the Mevo and one for your iPhone 6S Plus or if you're controlling it with an iPad. I like to have the device I'm controlling the camera with mounted so that I don't have to hold it in my hands uh, or whoever's controlling the camera doesn't have to hold it in their hands and they can pinch and zoom easier and so on and control the shots. Tripod mount for the iPhone. I use the ShoulderPod S1 and that again if you're going to mount the tripod you need a tripod mount. There are other cheaper options. There's an eBay option. I have a link there iPhone 6S Plus, don't buy the iPhone 7. We are going to need that microphone jack, so stay away from the iPhone 7. If you do buy an iPhone 7, just get an iPad mini or something to use for this purpose. Um, a portable battery pack. This allows you to charge anything that plugs into USB. You get a good one that has a good output on it, and then you won't have any problem. You can charge the things that you need to charge when you're doing this broadcast which is going to be the you're going to need to power the switch that I'll get to and also power the um, the camera kit uh, that we plug in that we're getting to next um, small ball head by the way I, I don't want to skip over that that's so you can adjust the camera angle critical you don't want that camera pointed straight away which is what happens if you just put it right on the the um, microphone stand Apple Camera adapter kit. This is a critical accessory. This plugs into the lightning port, gives you a USB, and also has a lightning on it so that you can plug in power, which needs to happen in order for the Ethernet adapter, which is next on the list, to work. The Ethernet adapter plugs into the USB on the aforementioned Apple camera adapter. And then you can plug in your Ethernet cable to that. You need an Ethernet switch because you're going to have your feed cable coming from your router or whatever your source of the Internet is. And then that's going to go into the switch. And then from that, you're going to run two shorter Ethernet cables, one to the iPhone, that adapter I just talked about. And the other one's going to run to the Boost for the Mevo so that they're both um, hooked up via Ethernet. We're not using any wireless connections at all here. Two Arca Swiss receivers and a three pack of Arca Swiss plates. And this is so that you can put the camera on the uh, light, st uh, the uh, mic stand and all and take it off easily. I just like Arca Swiss. Um, <clears throat> Studio Pro, two light kit. This is lighting is critical with this camera. It does not do well in low light, room light. You need to light things up. These two lights will do the job. Three would be even better, four would be even better, but two will do the job. Uh, for the you know a room let's say 14 by 14 and and you're gonna you're gonna be pretty close to the camera anyway because of the wide angle of view so these lights will do the job I've done a lot of testing and it and they will do the job cat 7 cables you're gonna need at least four well I would suggest getting four two shorter ones to go from the switch to the um, iPhone and then to the Mevo and then a longer one that will run from the switch to your router wherever that may may be you'd probably get a hundred foot cable for that I would probably get two and get a coupler so you can couple them together in case you have to do a longer run you never know uh, but if you're in a fixed location and you know what your run is buy whatever Ethernet cable you need to be able to run from the router to the switch optional battery powered lights this is if you want to power those lights I mentioned earlier by battery power these this these uh, links I have here will power it for like two hours those lights so you can be out in the field with no AC power and make things happen um, an optional wireless mic again if you want to have a wireless lab this is a good solution and then you get that adapter cable and you should be good to go that's my list as it stands now and again I'm going to share a link to this document in the YouTube description and uh, as I add to this document or improve it uh, those updates will be there thanks for watching
please subscribe to my channel.